Okay, you have just done something really amazing that most people will never do in their lives, and it's kind of sad because what you've done is had a look at your big picture, what it is that you would have in your life, what kind of life you would be living, your lifestyle, everything in three years in an ideal world if you had no limitations, nothing holding you back, right? And then I asked you to break that down because that big picture is very overwhelming, right? Not very many people can sort of look at a big picture and say, I can do this in the next week. That's why it's your big picture, right? So we broke it down into what has to happen in the next year so that you start to be able to forecast what kind of training you need, how many pounds you'd like to drop, all of these things and have very specific uh, parameters within your mind so that you know and you have timelines on how to get these things accomplished so that you looked at that year and decided what you need to finish or accomplish or have succeeded in in one year in order to progress into your three-year goals. Then I asked you to break it down even further into 90 days. What do you, what are the little nitty gritty things, those little tasks that you have to have accomplished in 90 days in order to really be successful for those one year goals, right? Uh, when you break it down into those bite sized pieces, it's a lot more manageable than just looking at, oh my God, what do I have to do to hit my three year? What has to happen in the next 90 days so that you can hit that one year goal, right? If you want to be a millionaire uh, in three years, it's not that you're looking at today, how am I going to make a million dollars today? You're going to look at how can I incrementally make enough money or maybe put some money in investments here or you know whatever steps you would need to take, whatever strategies you would need to take in order to get there in three years. It is compounded. So is your knowledge. So, is, so are the steps that you have to take, okay? So in 90 days, you already deciphered what five things you need to accomplish in order to keep progressing. So what I want you to do right now is prioritize those things. What is the most important? What would be the most valuable? And pop it into a timeline. If you have 90 days, where does that have to fit in? Because you might not be able to accomplish that today, right? You might need to book an appointment to see somebody or um, get some training or fill out an application or, you know, uh, be able to lift a certain amount of weight, right? So you need to be able to decide what is most important and put it into, slot it into a milestone um, within the next 90 days, okay? And then naturally, the other four that you have in your hierarchy will get naturally slotted into when you need to accomplish them in order to be able to take next steps, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to ask you to do is decide what has to happen today and this week, right? There are certain steps there's one step for sure that you can take absolutely to progress your life, to keep moving forward today, looking at your five steps that you had broken down from your 90 days, right? So take the step that you need to do today or this week, pop it into a calendar, make it real, make it talent tangible for yourself, and make the other four um, milestones that you have left for your 90 days, make them tangible too. Give yourself timelines, right? If you don't, you know yourself. I know myself. If you don't put them in a calendar, they are never going to get done. Life is going to take over and you're just going to keep coasting instead of getting exactly what it is that you want. So go ahead and put those five things into your calendar right now. Set yourself dates and right underneath and let me know so I can hold you accountable too.